Well, living on the Jersey Shore, certainly a big part of my practice, has been for 25 years and continues to be the treatment of skin cancers. The problem I'm seeing more and more over the last few years are scars from patients who are trying to stay within their HMO or staying where their you know, GP has sent them. They end up at these big dermatology clinics where they're being treated by, for the most part, physician's assistants. The physician's assistants may be very good at identifying a lesion, but their plastic and reconstructive skills are lacking. What really matters is the outcome of the scar for those patients. We really would like patients to think long and hard about who is going to be performing their surgery, what are their qualifications, and what is going to be their cosmetic or aesthetic outcome. So patients are making that decision to get things excised without thinking what's the end result of the scar. In multiple studies we've seen that direct excision, which is where a plastic surgeon actually takes a little margin around the skin cancer and then excises the area and repairs it, versus the Mohs micrographic surgery performed by a dermatologist, that the long-term cure rates are no different. We can cure basal cells, okay, but we don't have to disfigure you.